Hello, welcome back. Okay, uh, the next thing I'd like to do is add some um, ability to scroll, pan, zoom, all that stuff. We just want to do the simplest thing possible. Uh, oh, but first, uh, I got a um, an update. I ha I'm now using version 7.3 of uh, Xcode. I think that's what it's called. And uh, there's a couple new things. So we're just going to allow this to um, use a new syntax. Uh, how do we do this again? Oh, we click on here and it'll do all the work for us. Yes, I want to replace that string with a pound selector instead. So this is a new syntax for referencing a selector. Very nice. I actually really like it. Um, same with this one. And we'll just say, hey Xcode, do your magic. Okay, cool. So we're back in uh, no error condition again. Uh, now, what do we want to do for pinching and zooming? Well, we need to do a few things. Let's go to our storyboard. And like I said, I want to do the simplest thing possible. Now at the moment, we have an image, we have two image views overlaid on top of each other. And we're going to want to interject a scroll view in here. Uh, but we also want the scroll view to just have one child. So uh, we're going to contain a, we're going to create a container view. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select our image view and I'm going to expand our con constraints for a second just so you can see something happening here. Select our image view and I want to I want to put the image view under a container view. So to do that, I need to go up to editor, embed in, a view and it literally added a new view for me and you'll notice it also removed the constraints we had before so any constraints we had before we'll have to re-add. Similarly I want to take this transition view and make it a child also of that view so it's still a sibling of the original image view. Great! That, that looks good. So in theory um, oh, actually, we haven't added any constraints, so it may not size the way we want. Um, so I'm just going to stop that. I'm going to stop that. So let's make sure we add our constraints. We want this view to basically take up all available real estate. So let's pin that. We'll say we don't want to constrain to margins, and we want 0, 0, 0, 0. So that's a pretty common operation. Okay, now let's do the same thing for the two views here. Let's pin them to their parent. Zero, 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 zero. Add those constraints. Go to the transition image view. And zero, 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 zero. Okay. Lots of constraints. Now I'm expecting if we run it, it should look the same as before. Always nice to just do a quick verify. And it does. Okay, great. Now we want to, above this view, add a scroll view. So that's uh, once again editor, embed in, and this time we select scroll view. Our scroll view, we want to, surprise, surprise, pin that. So let's go pin. And I can't believe it. Why did I bother doing that earlier stuff? Because it wipes out all the constraints on me. Ah, silly me. Um, we don't want that margin. We do want 0, 0, 0, 0. Add those constraints. OK. And let's select this guy and do the same thing. Pin. Zero, 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 zero. Add constraints. Zero, 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 zero. Add constraints. Zero, 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 zero. Now the way be there's probably better ways to do this, but I think this is probably the simplest way to to set this all up. Okay, so we now have a scroll view, and it's got the view and blah blah blah. Uh, let's first run. Just make sure that the image shows up. It's going to show up a little different now, though. 
Um, yeah, so the image is actually at its actual size. It's embedded in here. Uh, and if we had everything hooked up, ooh, we can scroll around. That's actually not bad. Can we zoom in and out? No, we can't. Right? Um, so to get that working, we need to do a few things. Let's go over to, uh, not our assistant, let's select the scroll view. We want the properties for the scroll view. And properties, not that. We want to say, oh, you can. So you can go from 0.1 to, say, a 20 times. Now it's running again, and it <gasps> doesn't work. Well, why would that be? That's because we actually have to add a little bit more code. Um, we need to in programmatically tell the scroll view what view it's managing for zooming purposes. So what we need to do for that is we need to click on the scroll view, control click, and drag that to our view and say our view controller and say you're the delegate. Then I need to go to our source view controller. So let's go to view controller and we now need to support a protocol called UI. Let's let it autocomplete. Scroll view delegate. Awesome. Uh, what does a UI scroll view delegate need to do? Well for zooming we need to write a function called uh, view something. View for zoom, yeah, there it is. View for zooming, blah, blah, blah. And all we need to do is return uh, the view that is being, you know, controlled. And, oh, I haven't added that yet. So I'm just going to say nil. Uh, I don't even just say, need to say that. Let's, let's not do go there yet. Let's go back to our storyboard. Okay. We've got the assistant up. In the assistant, let's make sure that we have the right file. We want the view controller. Okay, and in the top of the view controller, we're going to need uh, this guy right here. That's our container view. So I'm going to control click and drag that over here. And I'm literally going to, I'm literally going to call it container. I think that's the most descriptive thing we could call it. Uh, we might need the scroll view, so I'm going to control drag that. And we'll call that the scroll view. Okay, so now we can say um, in our view for, view for zooming blah 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 uh, that the view that's being controlled is the container view. Okay, let's give that a quick run. Okay, so we can still pan and hold down the option key. Hey, I can zoom. Not bad. Not bad for real quick, dirty, and easy. Let's select another photo, though. Well, first of all, before we do that, let's make sure that our uh, our two views uh, overlap. And they do. Good. That's what I was hoping. And let's go to the album and select something totally different now. Make sure that everything resizes properly. We'll pick something big like this. Hmm, seems to be okay. Let's go filtered. Not bad at all. Let's uh, shrink it down. Let's zoom in. Let's make that flower a very weird color. There we go. I like it. Okay, that's basically it. Um, thank you, and I'll uh, join you in the next video. By the way, like I said, this is uh, this is pretty fast and dirty but it does the job. This was probably the simplest way of getting uh, the scrolling and viewing, and it's really all we need for this. So uh, thank you very much.